So let's walk through an explanation of the hearing results. Now, what we see on the screen are a series of red circles and blue X's. The red circles are tracking the hearing in your right ear, and the blue X's are tracking the hearing in your left ear. Now, the first thing that we notice right off the bat is how similar both ears are in terms of how well they're hearing. They're not exactly the same, but the degree of symmetry is what we want to see for uh, both ears to have a similar level of hearing. Now, the way this chart is tracking your hearing, going from left to right, we're moving from deep tones here at the left, kind of like a piano keyboard. And on the right hand side, we have higher pitched tones on the right. Now the vertical lines are measuring our volume. At the very top of the page, we have soft, soft volume. And the volume measured in decibels is getting louder as we go down the page. When we get down here to the bottom of the page, around 100 to 120 decibels, this is usually painfully loud for most people with normal hearing. Now at the top of the page, 20 decibels or less, this is pretty sharp hearing up here at the top of the page. Now as you can see, hearing level varies at each of the frequencies. And in your case, you're hearing better in the deeper tones and the lower mid-tones. But as we move into the upper mid-tones, we see this very distinct drop-off and then leveling off right around the 70 decibel level. And that's considered a moderately severe to severe hearing loss in these upper frequencies. Now, let's talk a little bit about what that means with what you're hearing, how voices and how sounds and how clarity are being affected. Now, one way to think of it is, I'm gonna draw a line right down the middle here. These are the bass sounds over here to the left, the lower tones, and over here to the right, are the treble sounds. Now one way of thinking of this is your hearing sounds, your hearing voices, however that part is good, but since you're not hearing the treble, the high-pitched parts of sounds, voices are unclear. They sound difficult to understand or to make out. You know who it is, you can hear the voice, but the words just aren't distinct enough. That is typical when a person has high frequency hearing loss. Because of the loss in this range of hearing in the high frequencies, that's what we call high frequency loss. So words and sounds aren't as sharp as they could be or as they used to be. Now, when this occurs, most of our patients tell us they're noticing one of four specific things, or all four, or a combination of the four. Again, this is where sound isn't coming through very well. It means letters like T's, and S's and F's and P's or certain blends like TH and ST are not coming through very well. They're indistinct. Other parts of speech are coming through quite well. Vowel sounds. Letters like B, R, M, K, G, those are deeper toned in general, and then you're able to pick those up much better. So some parts of speech are coming through well, other parts are a little fuzzy, and again, therefore, it can be very difficult 
in picking out and clearly understanding what people are saying, especially when you're around a lot of noise. Because noise interferes in the higher frequency strongly and it makes those specific parts of speech even tougher to make out. Now, let's talk a little bit about men's and women's voices. In general, men's voices are a little deeper toned. And in general, women's voices are a little higher toned. Kids' voices too. So we have men here, we have women and children here that are higher toned. So which ones don't you think you hear as well? Which do you think you hear better? You hear men's voices better because they're deeper toned. But you have trouble hearing women's and children's voices as well as you do men's voices in general. Now lastly, here's what patients tell us when they're experiencing a hearing loss like this and they're missing high frequencies but hearing low frequencies. Number one, some patients say it sounds like voices are mumbled, mumbly, indistinct, unclear. Number two, it can sound as though people are talking too fast. Just slow down. I can't make out what you're saying. You're speaking too quickly. Third, patients tell us and their families tell us they're mishearing what's being said. They're answering a different question than is being asked. They're having a conversation that doesn't seem to be linked to what everyone else is talking about. It can be very embarrassing and frustrating. And then lastly, what can occur is a sense of just not being part of the conversation. People can begin to isolate themselves even when you're in a group, standing off to one side, simply nodding and smiling, laughing when other people are laughing, but not really feeling like you're part of that conversation. That can be happening as well. You may be noticing just two of these in particular, maybe just one or all four. It's, it's hard to know. Every person is a little different. The wonderful thing about having all of this information is we can allow you now to listen to a pair of hearing aids to help both ears and we're going to bring this level of hearing up so that we add more clarity, we add more comfort, meaning it's not too loud, it's just easier to understand what's being said, and overall we really add a lot more ease and relaxation and less stress to all of your listening environments. I look forward to seeing you here at the Better Hearing Center where life is better with better hearing.